Hey guys, it's El Super Sonic Q here, and welcome to the first of four clay tutorials for the month of September, which is my month of clay tutorials. So, I think this first episode is going to be really great because of kind of how I'm going about it. So, first, in the sense that we are going to sculpt Star Fox, Fox McCloud, using Star Fox 64 artwork. So, for beginners, this is going to be really nice because I actually wanted to sculpt them in his 64 bit style. So, creating the blocky effect may be a little bit easier, especially in terms of assembly and kind of the finer details, rather than sculpting him in, say, like, you know, um, a typical more smooth type way. Also, this I believe is the first time I've actually ever really bought things specifically for my clay tutorials or for my videos. But I ended up buying this 30-pack color sampler for Sculpey, or from Sculpey which has pretty much all the colors that I'll be needing for all the clay tutorials this month, which is kind of tempting because I wanted to kind of sculpt some of my own clay models from this, but I bought this specifically for the episodes, so um, it'll be a lot easier time kind of showing you guys exactly what colors I'm using and um, exactly, you know, I guess the colors in general, because these are, you know, 30 main colors from Sculpey, so I guess on that note, um, I would recommend buying... This 30-pack color sampler, if you really don't know what you want to sculpt, and um, like I said, if you're going to follow me for the entire month, then you might want to pick up one of those so you have all the colors at your disposal. So, with that minute 30 intro out of the way, let's start sculpting Fox from Star Fox 64. So let me just open my clay, kind of off-camera, and then we'll kind of select the colors. Like I said, this is going to be really nice because I'll actually show you guys what colors specifically I'm using and that type of thing. So if you want to sculpt more than one model of a certain character, you guys will know what colors I use and what colors to pick out. So here's all the colors, and like I said, this is Fox from Star Fox 64. So his kind of fur color is kind of a lightish brown, so I'll probably go with something like this. So we got that color. Um, the inside of his ears and his muzzle and stuff is kind of, um, kind of a, not a bright yellow like this, but it's a, a little darker, so I'm going to go with this, this yellow right here. Um, what else? He has some white on him, so we'll kind of, we'll kind of get the white out, and <laughs> the white out, but we will need some white. Um, his clothes, he has his little neckerchief thing that is the bright red. His pants and kind of shirt, I guess, is a green. I'm kind of in debate on whether or not I want to use a brighter green or a darker green. Um, I guess compared with all the other ones, I think maybe the darker green might look a, a little bit better, I believe. My, my printer's kind of uh, messed up with the ink, so that's why the picture I showed was a little funky. But yeah, I believe he has a darker type green. And then he's going to need some gray for his probably gloves and his kind of boots and maybe the little command module around his head. And of course we will need the black because we're gonna have to do that for the nose and the eyes and stuff. So with that, I think those were our colors for Fox. Once again, we have the light brown, the, I guess, um, bright orange, not 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 like the neon one, I guess, yeah, just the, the standard bright one. We have white, we have a bright red, we have black, we have a dark green, and we have a gray. So with that said, we're going to start off with the brown and begin sculpting.